Rows of Afghans wait in line at a United Nations reception center in the outskirts of Kabul. They're waiting to be repatriated after having lived in exile in Pakistan for decades. Despite fleeing war in their own country, life for Afghans in Pakistan was dire and filled with hardships, with some people enduring harassment by police and locals. The police raided our homes, this man said. Afghans in Pakistan were called Kabulis, but then they started calling us Hindus because of Afghanistan's economic agreements with India. Repatriation has been stepped up recently as Afghan-Indian relations strengthened and those between Pakistan and India have soured. For those who are making their way home, new challenges await. Of course, there are many, many challenges. Um, these uh, returnees, they're coming back after more than three decades in exile. That means that their grandparents originated from Afghanistan. So they don't know Afghanistan as their home country. So it will take a big adjustment for them. The United Nations provides $400 per person in emergency help, as well as medical and other assistance, including mine awareness training for people returning to a country awash with unexploded ordnance. But longer term integration here, a country many never knew as home, may be even more difficult.